Hey guys, this is Rattle Squirrel again, and welcome back to Ultima Online Forever. Let's play. I have been running and running and running a lot longer than I like to admit right now, trying to find something cool for you guys to see other than that same dungeon. And I'll tell you what, um, I, I went down the coast here a second ago, and I had to I had to highline it back because there was a couple of PKs. But now let's head back down here because I think I saw the entrance. I think it's right there. If you guys can see on the radar, it looks like the entrance to a dungeon. Oh gosh, there's already people here. <laughs> man, I wish I could just find some place that was just to me. Oh man, they're, they're taking everything else. Oh, scorpions though. Okay, well at least there's new stuff in here, but there's also blood everywhere. Let's see how much, well, let's, let's do one scorpion at a time for first, because I don't want to... I mean, I'll take two if that's all it two. Oh, uh, okay, okay. These aren't Fallout 4 scorpions. That's good. Ooh, but they do poison. Oh, shit. I don't even know a way out of here yet. Damn it. Oh, God. I'm literally in here for 10 seconds and attack one scorpion and I've already got a PK on me. Okay, but guys, I know how to get here. That was the benefit of me doing this run. I know how to get here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go out here we're going to see if we can't find anything else. Okay, I see like a swamp. Or at least a... Oh. A bunch of spiders. Ugh. God, I hate spiders. I don't even want to fight spiders in a game. You know, I was playing Diablo 3 the other day and I had to go through that entire damn dungeon of spiders and I tell you, I, I just... I about quit playing. Ugh. So this actually caps off. There's nothing in here. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to go back into the dungeon with that red. I guess I don't have to. That seems to be the only thing that there's gonna be over here is this one. Okay, well at least we found a new dungeon. And from the intro of it, it looks like there was some earth elementals and all kinds of cool stuff. So that would be fun. I'm curious. I heard him cast a spell. And I'm wondering if he missed me with it and hit the scorpion. Because it was a paralyzed. It sounded like a paralyzed spell. I damn sure know I didn't resist it. <laughs> My resistance sucks. So let's go ahead and just try to make what we can here. New dungeon, new dungeon. Oh man, I'm sitting. I'm just like sitting here on the edge of my seat, dude. God, this is gonna be rough. I know I'm gonna see that person again, and I don't think they're gonna miss twice. I really, really don't. As much as I would love them to. Oh, that's where I was. I think. Typically, the PKs on here will pursue the hell out of you, too. Like, we're talking, like, until the, until the end of time. They'll, they'll run after you and everything. Won't tell you going to town, you know? So I'm kind of curious as to why I wasn't pursued, either. I really figured I would have been. That's okay, though. I'm not going to complain at all. As a matter of fact, I really hope that whoever did that watches these videos, because I want to say thank you. Thank you for not killing me. I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm just trying to kill some scorpions. Ah, oh, I'll work for this. Where are these guys drop? Oh, these guys aren't really even worth, like... Well, I guess they really are, if they're, if they're that easy. But look at the damage they're doing just with... Oh, yeah, I'm in extreme pain. Oh, God. It's not curing, so you know it's good poison. Look at my HP. Come on, bandages. My fingers slip. Oh, jeez. That was close, actually, guys. I thought I was going to die. I was running outside so I could get to a healer. Trying to gain my stuff back. Wow. 
Well, okay. I want to show you guys something else up here that I didn't get to in the intro of the video. There's a, a pathway that leads, uh, like I guess, down to this little peninsula that I can't believe it's just a, a, a peninsula with just a cave on it, and that's kind of interesting, but it's up here. And there was ice elementals, um, or snow elementals, for, for days in this thing. And as you guys saw, besides the fact that they actually really do good damage, they actually drop pretty good gold, and uh, I got that skill scroll off of one of them. It's right over here. This may look like a dungeon, but it's not. It's just like I guess some place where people can come and mine. It's actually a pretty cool little place because you can mine, and there's a smelter right there. But yeah, as you can see outside, you see all those snow elementals. There's a ton of them, so you guys can uh, blow up on snow elementals too if you're over here. That is. But yeah, like I said, beware. They do do a lot of damage. So we found that dungeon, and I found this dungeon from you, um, Y-E-W, um, on the actual portal. I just went straight south. Oh my gosh, look at all these spotters. So I think that if you could, I think you may call this area out of the newbie zone, if you want to call it. You know, we're no longer just running into skeletons and a few ettins or whatever else. We're running into deadly poison spotters and scorpions and everything else. Totes my goats. What does he got on his head? She got on her head. What is that? Totem of a Berserker? Champion artifact? Okay. Butcher knife. Indestructible wooden shield. That's pretty cool. Indestructible. Oh, she's outside of the protection of the town guards. She better be careful. <laughs> Not everybody doesn't want to PK people. I hate for her to lose that shield or something. Oh, man, that was a lot of fun, guys. I know it, it seems like it was just tedious to have to walk. I mean, I was probably running for I don't know how long to find that place. But it's actually really, really cool to find some other place to actually go on these videos to show you guys the actual UO world. A dread spider? Um, okay, sure. Oh, okay, so they cast spells. Oh, and they have a lot of HP. Oh, okay, and they freeze me? Good lord. Good lord! Um, okay. Those are not, yeah, those are like Judge Dread spotters. What the hell is that? Those things are savage. Oh my gosh. Dude, no chill. All savage. Oh, is that it? That's the, damn it. Oh, okay, okay. Of course you, you super poison too. Oh my. And you freeze me nonstop. Oh jeez, I gotta get my Oh my gosh. No 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 no. Oh no. Oh my gosh guys, I was cured of poisons at five eight oh my gosh. Dude, these sp oh no. Oh god. These spotters are so hard. What the hell? I don't even wanna know what a Drake or something feels like. Jeez. Spotters beating the crap out of me. Okay, we're gonna try again. Just for good sport. Hurry up and oh my gosh, why? The poison wasted a whole bandage, guys. That that's why I hate it so much. I have to use a bandage now to remove the poison and then use another bandage to heal, which I hate more than anything on life. Come on, dread spotter, you jack. Oh, and of course you you poison me again. Oh, okay. You failed to cure the target. Oh, that's strong. Oh my gosh. What are you dropping? It? I can't really say it's worth it. The wand can only be used by faction members. How much silk do you drop? 
Oh my god. I've never... Oh my... What a fruitless endeavor. These things are so hard. I went through like 10 bandages and almost died. 500 gold. I'm assuming if you had the proper magic resist... Uh-oh. Is that the one I already had down on HP, though? It was. Come here, biatch. Oh. Extreme pain, too. Not like just regular pain. Extreme. Shit's extreme. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta run off again to make sure I can at least heal. Dude, failed to cure the target. Oh my gosh, I really am gonna die this time, I think. I don't, I, it's gonna kill me. Yep, I think it's gonna kill me. Uh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh... I'm gonna try to remember this area on the map. I gotta go find a healer. Oh my gosh, and that person looks like they're just AFK or something, because they're not doing much of anything. Alrighty, well now you guys, I mean seriously guys, the Dread Spiders, we don't have the magical resistance, I guess, they're just, dude, they're just savage. And I mean, I gave that thing everything I had. I'm glad I only fought one at a time. When I had two of them on me, I, don't, I didn't even realize how much of a storm I was brewing. Oh no! I didn't even think about that. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my horse. Hmm. I wonder why I wouldn't have thought about the fact that the freaking kill on sight spider would attack me. Oh my god, that's my fault. I don't even see a wandering healer around here. Surely with dread spiders around you. They'd put a wandering healer somewhere, right? I wonder if one of these is a healer. No. Oh my. My strength came back. Not only do they do damage, they reduce your strength and your intelligence too. Dude. Dude. Oh yeah. I got your number. I'm gonna go get a spider slayer or something or something. Come back and get you. Bruh. Well, if I ever get to come back. Oh, I can't even find. Oh, more dread spiders. Oh, this is giant, though. Over there. That's unbelievable, guys. I really cannot even fathom the fact that I just got killed that easily by a spider. I don't see a single healer out here. This is crazy. Typically, they're all over the forest. You can't take two steps up. Well, that's how, typically how it goes on games, guys. You know, you can't find it when you need it, but they're everywhere when you don't. <laughs> Look at all the things down here. Even if I did res, I don't have anything to fight them with. They just kill me again. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I think I know where one was. I just got to go back to that little area with the dungeon. But yeah, those dread spotters are, are crazy. I, they, first of all, they have two separate poisons. One of which is super powerful. Um, and then the other one was weak, but it doesn't matter because it still takes bandages to heal it. Or to cure yourself before you can actually heal the damage they do. Which they casted fireballs, lightning. I'm pretty sure I saw a corpore, which is like that little, looks like a bird in the air or whatever. I've got to run past these things. If I get healed over here. Well, that'll be interesting. But yeah, you, you, you have to... Yeah, you have to heal through the, uh, the poison. And then also, on top of that, heal through the damage. So I, if, if I had another player, they would have been so much better. But I, I didn't. I don't right now. That might change here in the short future. I'm not going to all those freaking orcs. Because the heal time on the bandages for another player is, is immensely low, like way, way lower. So you you can uh, you can heal at like almost three or four times the rate. As long as you have somebody you can trust that's sitting next to you that, that, that will actually heal you, you know. And they don't run off whenever they get low lights or something. 
Jeez, I hope I don't lose my body over there. I never really got to the end game on this, guys. Uh, I've always played pretty much primarily just melee characters. Had fun, you know. Obviously, I was I was kind of a kid, you know what I mean. And, and when I came back, I played UO Live for a little bit. Uh, you know, I got a little bit farther just because we played with so many people. Um, I've never had a chance to really branch out and experience like learning where everything is and all that other stuff. So this is actually a learning experience for me at the same time. See ya. Oh, there we go. See ya later. Ha. <laughs> all right. So now we're gonna try to head back. Let's see if I can get my stuff. But yeah, I've never really, I've never seen a dread spider. <laughs> and if if I had before, I guarantee it would have saved me my life right now because I probably wouldn't have engaged the little mini dragon with eight legs. But. uh... Yeah, it's a lot of fun, guys, to come back and play this. I know the graphics are a little low, especially compared to, you know, obviously games of nowadays and everything else, but I tell you what, I, I can pick up a copy of Final Fantasy VII or V or any of my old school PSX games or anything like that. I, I just have a blast. I think it's just because of, of the, the memories and everything else it brings me. I remember playing this game, you know, when I was sitting there in, in school and, you know, getting in trouble because I was up too late and everything else dozing off in class because I'm trying to read strategy guides and stuff. Let's see if I can make it past these guys. This is going to be the true test of metal because they're going to they're gonna run at me. I know they are. Why did I lose my robe? I'm now naked and I'm not sure why. Nope. Leave me alone, snow guy. So the spiders shouldn't be able to catch me. I've noticed that the spiders seem to be rather slow. Like the, the giant spiders, and obviously the other ones could just fireball me from the sun or whatever else it is. But the, the, the other ones don't seem to be very fast. So as long as I maintain my distance from them, I should be okay. I wonder if my horse made it. I know that's wishful thinking. I, I know that he didn't make it. God, that would be so amazing if my horse made it. Wait, am I going the wrong... I'm going the wrong way, huh? If I go this way, I'm going to run into that dread spider, I think. I didn't see my horse, so... That fliggers. Oh well, let's go see if I can find my body at least. It was up here somewhere, I believe. Well, uh -oh. somewhere. There it is. Okay. Dude, I'm not, not even bones yet. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I know that wasn't the video I wanted to produce. So obviously, it was supposed to be uh, exploring that dungeon and everything else. And then, bam, PK. And then, bam, freaking Dread Spider and everything else. We did get our stuff back, though, which is a good start. But, uh, man, what a... What a oh, unforgiving game. I told you guys that from the get-go, though. It's a hard game to get into. Yeah, it looks like I wasted like 20 something bandages on that one spider. Jeez. Typically, I wouldn't give up. I would just go over there and fight the spider again. But with you guys watching and everything else, man, I, I'm, already, I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. Oh, man. Especially on foot with no horse and everything else. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Man, I'm sorry about the, the fact that I, got, I did get killed with that spider. Obviously, I just. When you do see him, keep in mind it's it's a it's a no joke spotter if you see a dread one out there in the wild. But uh, like I said, uh, leave any comments, suggestions, or anything you want to see in the future. Like, share, and subscribe if you liked the video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next UO forever. Thanks, guys. Bye.